There are four candidates. Two of them are relative newcomers. Uh, they're on the political left of the party. One is a Regina lawyer named Jens Peterson. The other is a Saskatoon doctor named Ryan Miley. Uh, both are ardent anti-nukes. Both appeal, again, to the more left-wing side of the NDP. The two main contenders, however, are Deb Higgins, who's the only MLA in the running of the four candidates, uh, Ms. Higgins, a former labor minister, a former union organizer, a former minister in the Calvert government, and somebody that I'm not counting out in this thing. But the front runner, the person who many are saying was to be crowned the NDP leader, even though there were three other candidates, is a guy named Dwayne Lingenfelter. Now, Mr. Lingenfelter is intriguing. He's been a politician since 1978. He was a farm boy in rural southwestern Saskatchewan. He was in the Blakeney government. He was in opposition. He was in the Romano government. And this is a guy who was a deputy premier in his heyday, and all Dwayne Lingenfelter has done up until recently has been a politician. He's telegenic. He handles himself well. And he's the person that many in the NDP have seen as the new face. In 2000, Mr. Lingenfelter left Saskatchewan, moved to Calgary, and took a job with one of Canada's largest oil and gas companies, Nexon. Nexon, you will remember, was Canadian Occidental. The same Canadian Occidental that bought Wascana Energy, that had been part of Sask Oil, sold to Nexon by the NDP, and Mr. Lingenfelter later goes to Nexon as their government relations vice president. He's been a media darling as well, because he's been openly pro-nuke, although recently his nuclear statements have appeared to be considerably at odds with those who favor nuke. Mr. Lingenfelter has been the pro-business face of the NDP. The other day, at an all-candidates meeting in Moose Jaw, and this was a Moose Jaw leadership forum for the NDP at the Legion on High Street in Moose Jaw, all four candidates got together. And this was, you will remember, the same day that the NDP voted in favor of a resolution promoting the development of the nuclear industry in Saskatchewan. Now, Ms. Higgins, um, openly anti-nuke, was not present for that vote. Apparently, she had to be at this Moose Jaw Leadership Forum and didn't get to the House to vote. But she was the only New Democrat MLA uh, who wasn't there to vote. At that forum, Dwayne Lingenfelter was talking to NDP supporters about the role of government in the economy. And he spoke about a former NDP darling called Sask Oil. That was when the NDP actually had a Crown Corporation oil company. And as I say, it was later privatized, it became Wascana Energy, Wascana Energy was then sold to Canadian Occidental, that became Nexon, that became Mr. Lingenfelter's employer later down the road. But there used to be an oil company in Saskatchewan owned by the government, Sask Oil. And if you're of a certain age, you wouldn't know that. There used to be a big government crown corporation called Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan. The NDP actually expropriated the assets of private companies. It took over IMC Mines. It took over PCA, Potash Corporation of America Mines, and formed a crown corporation called PCS, Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan. In the late 1980s, Potash Corporation was privatized. It was sold, and now it's traded on the stock market, and is the world's largest potash fertilizer phosphate company. and has been a remarkable success story. So Mr. Lingenfelter is speaking in Moose Jaw last week. Here were some of his thoughts and some of his regrets on not fighting harder to save these government resource companies. Have a listen. Uh, in the late government, we uh, we set up Sask Oil. Uh, we nationalized the potash industry. We, I regret in many ways is that we didn't find it harder the privatization of some of those things that we did in the late year as a part of it. I.e., mean, allowing the potash corporation to be privatized was a big mistake for the province and a big mistake for our party. We fought it, but I think there's a question whether we fought it hard enough. We allowed the privatization of South Oil, which I think was a big mistake for the province as well, and we should get back to the point of setting up an energy company that does our own drilling and exploration for gas in this province. And I'm committed to do that. I'm the premier. Now, 
isn't that stunning? The pro-business Mr. Lingenfelter says it was a mistake to have ever privatized Sask Oil or the Potash Corp. And then he wants to set up a crown corporation, a government company in the energy biz. And we should get back to the point of setting up an energy company that does our own drilling and exploration for gas in this province. And I'm committed to do that if I'm the premier. So if Mr. Lingenfelter becomes the NDP leader and becomes the premier, there will be a new crown corporation in the energy business. The government will be in the energy business. Unlike anywhere else. Let's start today. Is it time for a crown corporation involved in the exploration, the development of natural gas? Now, right now, you've got a crown corporation called Sask Energy that distributes natural gas, buys it on the market, stores it, sells it to you and me. But do you think we need a crown corporation in the energy business? A government oil and gas company?